How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is talking about the FGS swaps and everything you need to know. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. EA have put in FGS swaps uh, into FIFA. It's essentially foot swaps, but not foot swaps. It's pretty much nothing like foot swaps, but it kind of is. Uh, it's talking about the FIFA Global Series and how you can earn packs by watching the FIFA Global Series online. Now, we got a prompting game uh, as you load up and it says, introducing FIFA Global Series, uh, a brand new competitive gaming viewership rewards program. Watch eligible, uh, sorry, eligible events, earn tokens and redeem the in-game uh, for special and tradable packs via SBCs now live in-game. Uh, FGS swaps will offer one FGS player token uh, to any viewer who watches 60 or more minutes of an eligible event. So basically any stream that you watch for an hour or more, you get yourself a token um, and there'll be 10 up for grabs in swaps one, which are available for 206 days. So basically the entire year. So I don't know why EA are making it out like they're going to be uh, doing like this every couple of months and you're going to be able to get a 200k pack to every couple of months because like they're in, they're in for 206 days. So I don't know. It's worded really strangely, in my opinion. Um, anyway, we can go have a look at the uh, corresponding SBCs, and I'll show you guys what they are talking about. So, um, we'll go over to uh, the new swap section in SBCs, and we have a premium gold pack for two tokens, a prime election players pack for three tokens, a mega pack for four tokens, and a 100k pack for five tokens. And, of course, you get these by going into the SBC uh like so and putting in your five tokens as you did for any kind of swaps you've ever done before whether it be icon swaps uh foot swaps anything like that if you have been on fifa for a while then you'll know uh it's been available it's been around for a long time basically uh this kind of concept and yeah you're doing it yet again for uh, the fifa global series to try and increase uh viewership numbers now i know a lot of people are going to have questions sort of you know how does this work uh how do i get the rewards how do i know my accounts linked etc etc i'm going to basically teach you guys it's actually really easy uh how to sort of know um and, and how to uh how to kind of get your account linked and all that good stuff so we're going to go on to twitch right now and i'll show you how to link your twitch account to your ea account and how to know if it's linked and then i will show you guys uh where you need to go for fgs and things like that and yes i said things like that but i meant say things like that i'm sorry my talking today is a little bit strange anyway go to the twitch homepage and log into your twitch account you'll know if you're logged in if you've got a little icon in the top right it could be like a little egg or a little just person with a colored background if you don't have a profile photo or if you have a profile photo it will show your profile photo anyway click on this and you'll go over to settings you'll find uh this section here you'll have a bunch of different uh subheadings under settings and then you'll have a lot of different uh options here like banner and profile photo and things like that now one thing i will quickly let you guys know right now if i were you i would go onto the web app first and make sure you know the email login for your ea account the account that you would like to link to your twitch account that is absolutely essential because if you don't log in with the right twitch account uh, sorry with the right ea account you're going to send all your rewards to the different account and in and in some people's cases they have no idea what account they send them to so go over to the web app now make sure that you log in with the correct account so you're on your ultimate team and then you obviously know what your email and password is for that EA account so you can log into your twitch now if you've already done that and you already know your EA account login, go to your connections page and over here you'll have a bunch of different connections. Now, uh, if you are not like me um, and you haven't connected a bunch of different things to your account already, then you'll probably have to connect pretty much most of your stuff. But I've connected a load of stuff to my account already. Now, to know if you've already got EA uh, connected to your account or not, just scroll down and you'll have an option here for Electronic Arts. Um, and I connected mine three years ago because I've been getting the rewards off Twitch Prime and for the FGS viewership rewards for three years. Um, but you can have a connect or disconnect button next to it. If you haven't got a disconnect button, you've got a connect button, obviously connect them. You will also be eligible then for Twitch Prime rewards later on in the year when EA give us free packs for Twitch Prime. You'll have your EA account uh, connected to your Twitch account which is also a big win for Twitch Prime. Now, you can also go over to the link your Twitch account to your EA account. Now, this one, you have to make sure that you are logged into your web app, uh, but I'll leave a link in the description to account linking for Twitch uh, for EA if you don't want to do it via Twitch or if you're confused via Twitch. I understand that uh, Twitch can be a confusing platform at times, uh, so you can go ahead and do it via uh, your EA account. Uh, and once you get this message saying you have successfully authenticated your EA account, account linking details have been transmitted to Twitch. You may now close a 
the window, then you'll have your Twitch, uh, sorry, your EA account pop up on your Twitch. It's really, really easy, surprisingly. I know a lot of people don't, uh, don't really get it sometimes, but it is actually really easy. I'll also leave a link in the description to this page. It's EA's page basically describing absolutely everything. So if anything I've said does not seem uh, logical to you or you just can't make sense of it, I totally understand. Sometimes it's hard to to grasp it, uh, but I'll leave a link in the description to this page. Now, this also has a calendar for all 10 events that you can win a swap player from. So the first 100k pack you'll be able to achieve for free will be on the uh, 23rd to 24th of January. You'll receive that by watching an hour of the uh, European Regional Qualifiers 2. Um, that's when you'll be able to get the first 100k pack for free. So after Team of the Year in a point of FIFA where there's probably not going to be much you finally get you finally get a free pack. Let's go, EA. We get a free pack at a pointless point. Uh, I'm really happy about that. Um, and then your second 100k pack you'll be able to achieve uh, in April to be announced. So we don't even know what date in April. It just says to be announced. So, yeah. Thanks, EA. So you actually managed to get your second 100k pack over in April. So when they say uh, swap set one, they just mean that's the only swap set we're getting this year. Because there ain't going to be a swap set two after April. Let's be honest with ourselves. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, event dates and event names and everything like that that you need to know for the uh, qualifiers and things like that. All these streams are going to be basically on EA Sports FIFA apart from two of them. So the North America Regional Qualifier and the North America Regional Qualifier 2 are going to be on the E-League TV Twitch channels. Uh, and like I said, all you have to do is make sure you have your account linked to Twitch and watch it for an hour now you do have to have the volume on what i recommend is what i usually do is i set up my laptop with the volume on but my laptop muted so that it technically registers that the volume is on because twitch can see if your volume's on in your tab and if you mute it or mute the tab unfortunately it doesn't clash you with actually watching the stream um so i usually have my laptop set up somewhere usually in the, the corner of the room where i either i can't hear it i just mute the laptop uh but i have all the volume up and then mute the actual laptop itself and it classes it uh there's been a few different streams where i've wanted to get drops and that's pretty much the easiest way to do it i would recommend doing that or doing it on like an ipad or a phone it doesn't matter what device you watch it on as so long as your twitch account and your ear account are both linked and you'll be able to win yourself the rewards yeah, to get yourself the free 100k pack or the free mega pack or whatever pack you're going to go for. Now, thinking logically, you can get yourself a mega pack untradeable on the, between the 9th and 10th of January or two weeks later, get yourself a 100k pack. I'm not going to lie. I don't think there's really any kind of meta way to, to get the best opportunity here. Um, you can either get yourself three prime election place packs, two mega packs and a premium gold pack, uh, or you can get yourself uh, two 100k packs and have to wait pretty much the entire year. I would say if I were you, um, I would probably just go for the two 100k packs because you might as well. These will be untradeable as well, so you ain't going to be able to get a coin pack, unfortunately, unless you pack something you've got tradable in the club that you're going to swap for untradable. Uh, you are unfortunately not really going to earn coins from these. In my opinion, like, it's it's all right. I'm not complaining. It is free packs for, like, an hour of content every three to six weeks, so it's not like it's, not like it's difficult and you do get free packs from it. I just wish that... If EA really want to boost artificial numbers on a stream, I wish that we got rewarded a little bit better because I think that they've kind of, like, the dates and, and, and the packs they're offering, unfortunately, don't work. Like, if you could go 100k pack during Team of the Year, that's a big win in my opinion. But the fact that you can't get it until two weeks after Team of the Year, it's like, do you save it then for another promo? Do you just open it? You know, it's like, in my opinion, not ideal, but I don't want to sit here and complain about free stuff because at the end of the day, it is free. EA don't have to give it to us, and they are. But they, like, we're also massively benefiting them by watching the streams. They really want the viewership numbers because it brings them a load of sponsorships, advertisements, and a lot of money into the uh, into the company. Uh, so they benefit massively from us watching too. If we didn't watch at all and we didn't care about the rewards, then they would be in the mud and we, we wouldn't get free packs, I guess. So it's like... It's kind of a win-win, kind of full circle roundabout-esque type of thing. Um, I don't want to sit there and, and bash it too much because I do respect that EA want to give us free stuff. But at the, the end of the day, could have been a little bit better. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Um, I really hope that this video helps you out enough to be able to suss it all out, I guess. Um, I feel like I explained it well enough. Uh, but if I didn't, any comments and any questions you've got in the, in the comment section down below, I'll be sure to help you guys out. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.